Hello, my gorgeous ones. Welcome back to Alicia Budget Beauty. My name is Alicia. I am a lover of all things affordable beauty and fashion. I'm also a haul queen, recovering haul addict, if you will. Um, if you're new here, well, I buy a lot, um, a lot affordably, but I buy a lot. And I went a little bit crazy in the last year, in 2021. So I have put myself on an official no buy till April. However, I still have a bunch of things I have not shown you guys yet. Hauls that I've been waiting to film. So today I have the special haul for you guys and I don't remember what I bought because it has been over two months, three months since I bought this stuff from Burlington. Okay, we got a giant bag here, two giant bags. So if you guys wanna see what I bought, if you wanna see me see what I bought, cause I don't remember, then stay tuned and let's do this really long time coming, really embarrassing haul because there's a lot of stuff here. Okay, you guys, so if y'all don't have a Burlington, I don't know who all has one. I think it's pretty well known, but it's like a TJ Maxx, a Ross. It is, you know, affordable things that businesses, brands, stores have sent there that either didn't sell well or just they need to get off hand. And you can actually find a lot of really good stuff at Burlington. It's a great place for gifts, home decor, kids clothes, men's stuff. You just have to be willing to dig and I am that person. I love the thrill of like, what am I gonna find? And I also like to think outside the box, not just look in women's, but I look in the men's section. I look in like the young, like, what do they call it? The young adult boys section, you know, that's really kind of like code for teenagers. So um, that's why I find a lot of stuff because I just look everywhere. So I'm just gonna dive in, you guys. We'll just see what I got, because I don't remember. This is gonna be like Christmas for me, Christmas to myself. Okay, I do remember this. Hello, look at this color. Are we kidding? Are we kidding? So this is a jacket. It is a faux fur jacket. I don't see the tag on it. I don't know where it went. Um, I do remember, now that I'm seeing it, that I wouldn't have paid probably any more than $30 look at this color okay this does this not look expensive do i not look like a bougie bee right now um 20 or 30 bucks super soft beautiful okay this, these are the kind of things that you can find at burlington obviously the full name is burlington coat factory so they do have a lot of coats there and that one that was a good one Okay, next up we have this Chanel sweater. This, I mean, you can tell it's like happy holidays. It was during the holiday season. This is $10.99 or was $10.99. I got it in a size large because I love an oversized kind of slouchy sweater and I really like this kind of mustard color here. So yay for that. Um, is this weird? Is this weird that I don't remember what I got? Like, you guys see now, you see why I've been so strict on myself with this no buy. Eight weeks today. Woohoo! You're gonna see this later though. You'll see this probably the following week. So hopefully it's been nine weeks. Next up, we have a fleece button up, size large, cost $10.99. So I don't remember if this was men's or women's, but I just thought that the snaps were like really cool. These silver snaps is kind of oversized look. I thought something like this would be really cute with like a crop and just some jeans and to be casual and, and kind of cool. So, and it's really, really soft. I like to show you guys and tell y'all kind of what my thought process is and Sometimes my problem is why I buy so much is because I can see the potential in something that maybe someone right away, like wouldn't expect this to necessarily, you know, be anything or like be a style that you would wear, but 
you know, you put it with like a cute little crop top and it becomes something else. Let's go over to this bag just to see what's in here. Okay. What? I don't remember this, but it's really pretty. Oh, I do remember this. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> so my, my middle kid, Dash, he's six, but back when he was about four, I wore a coat similar to this to a, like a corn maze that we have where you get on like a little cow train and, and, and there's pumpkin patch, but it was more yellow than this. And he called it my poo shirt as in Pooh bear. So that's what this makes me think of. But this is a beautiful faux fur again coat. I don't know where these tags went. I bet my dog I bet my dog Phoebe probably, she loves to pull tags off things and this has been sitting there for a month. So I do remember this though. And I remember spending a little bit more. Like, does this not look like this would cost $200? I do remember this one was 50 or 60. No more, no less. And I saw it first in an extra large and it was huge. And I went on a massive hunt all through the store I finally found this in a size small, somewhere completely off the beaten path, and I was so happy. And I mean, it's long, it goes down mid calf, and I just feel like, I feel like a baller in this, I'm not gonna lie. The color is so rich and pretty, so that was a super amazing find. Yay! You know, maybe this could start a new type of video where you go buy something or you go in a haul, you put it away for a year and then you come back and you just get to open and see what you got. Like it's, it's like a gift to yourself. Um, I think that could be kind of fun. Okay. Next up, you guys are going to think I'm weird, but I do remember this and I thought this shirt was freaking awesome. It reminds me of a shirt that you would find in like a, a thrift store, you know, like a Goodwill or something like that, that would be genuinely from like the 80s or maybe early 90s. This was in the men's section. It is a size small. Okay, it was on clearance for $6.99. You guys, it's gonna look crazy with this shirt. Stay with me. Okay, I was picturing this, okay, with like a fun little crop underneath, like a little bandeau something, and tied in the summertime with like some cut off shorts, um, even like some biker shorts or something like that. And I thought it could be a whole vibe. So with this, it looks crazy, but can you see it? Can you picture it with like the crop and tide? Cause I think it would look really cool. I even think you could get away with putting like a fun like bra underneath and doing like a high-waisted belt moment cinching this in with like some faux leggings or like the shiny kind of Spanx type of pants with that. And I think it could also be a whole look. Okay, next up, I when I got this, I was in like a flannel fanatic phase. It's currently, well, it's January right now. It'll probably be February around then when you guys see this. So I could still get away with flannel, but this is a men's size large. It's just a flannel like this. It was, Phoebe stole the tags again. My guess was it was probably $10, but I love flannels like this with again, like a crop and either some like joggers or some leggings and you really can't go wrong with that. All right, we have a, okay, I remember this dress. I, it caught my eye, the colors. I was just so freaking crazy about. I love pink and red together. Absolutely adore it. So February, you know, this isn't necessarily a February winter type of dress, but the pink and red, I just absolutely adore. You could put like a leather jacket over this and boots and kind of like edge it up a little bit but it is this maxi dress. It kind of crisscrosses up top, roughly. Look at all of these tiers. And this is a Kendall and Kylie dress. It was 
and original price was 163. I love when they leave those tags on there because I just love knowing how much I saved. But I thought this was a super score and I was so happy they had it in my size. So this would be gorgeous for spring and summer, but you could also wear it in the winter time with a black jacket and boots. All right, next up, what is this? Oh, okay, this is really, I do remember this one. This is a jumpsuit. It was $14.99. This could have been like a New Year's type of moment. It is this shiny, kind of scratchy material, I will say, but it's just a really cute jumpsuit. You can wear with heels, you can pair a jacket, a sweater, a long cardigan. Like if you wanna dress it down a little bit, you could do that, but I just, I'm a sucker for a jumpsuit and anything that's kind of bodycon as well. All right, I remember I was on the fence about this one. I couldn't decide, I was like, do I want it, do I not want it? And then I think I tried it on and I liked it. So this is a Banana Republic jacket. It's almost like a linen material, like cotton linen blend. It was $16.99 see if they have the regular price. I don't believe they do, but actually fun fact, I worked at Banana Republic for a, as a seasonal employee in my early 20s and I thought it was so fun. Back then, I just thought Banana Republic was amazing. Now it's not necessarily my aesthetic. It's just a little too buttoned up for me, but I really did love the fit of this blazer. And I, I mean, I just do love a blazer anyway. It's got the buttons and I just thought it fits too nice not to get it. And I think you put like a neon, see it's that neon green. If I put some sort of like, I'm all about a crop top, you guys, okay? I just love them. <laughs> There's so, I just love them. Like a little crop tank or like, you know, the little cami ones. I just think, and like high-waisted is, is just one of my favorite looks of all time. But you put that little pop of green in with this. You could pair this with shorts actually and heels in the summertime. And it's just like, it's really chic. So that's why I went ahead and got that one, even though banana is not really my... Thing anymore. All right, now we have another flannel. I was on a flannel just hunt, you guys. It's an extra large men's. You guys don't get hung up on sizes. I've said this before, but it's all about if you if you like the way it fits and feels. Who cares if it's an extra large, a double X, a triple X, a small, an extra small, like just get it because you like it, because you like the style. Like, Don't just go and look because you want to be a small or you want to be a medium, you know, and you're like, it, you can find stuff everywhere. So like, I love, see, it's a men's extra large. Sure, it's big. The sleeves are like this, but like how comfy for lounging around the house, hanging out, like running errands. It's just kind of like a cool like 90s type of vibe. You put a cool necklace with it, some dark lipstick, and it's a 90s moment. All right, next up, here in my lip, in my lip gloss. Okay, oh yeah. Okay, I thought these were cool, and dang it. I didn't know when I went on this haul journey to Burlington. This was probably back in early November, mid-November, I did not know that I was gonna put myself on this no-buy. And then it was like emergency status, she needs to be stopped. So I remember thinking these would be really fun and cool Christmas time, now it's past. But maybe I could get away with it for February. But they're these just kind of like cool jogger, mix plaid print with this like belt here, you could do the belt, not do the belt. You could make these really casual and trendy. You know, you could put on some like high tops with it. Again, a crop top if you want, a jacket, or you could take the belt off, put on like a nice turtleneck bodysuit with this and heels and dress it up. So I just thought they were fun and kind of like funky. And you know, I'm still trying to hold on to my youth a little bit. There's some stuff that I'm like, Alicia, no, 
Like you can't, you can't do that anymore. You'll look crazy. And then there's some stuff that I feel like I can still pull off. Dang it. I'm, I'm almost 30. I'm 38, but I'm not dead. Okay. Like, you can still have fun. Um, this is for my son. I forgot to get out. Well, how exciting for him. Well, anyway, it's really cool. It's just like hoodie jacket. So totally forgot about that, but that was $10.99. All right. Let's see. Okay. I remember seeing this in Burlington months before I got it. And it's a Bebe dress. Hey, Bebe. You guys remember when Bebe was, it was like the bodycon. I still like bodycon, like bandage dresses. Okay. I do. They're flattering. Okay. They give you curves where you don't have curves. And when you do have curves, they give you the perfect curves. But anyway, that was all the, the thing. And so that's the brand. And it's just this silk slip dress. As my mom would probably say, it looks like a nightgown. I don't care. I love this style. I love a good slip dress. So it is silver and it is $12.99. And I remember I was waiting for it to go more on sale because I didn't want to pay 25, 30, you know, I was like, once it's below 20, I'll get it. So it went on sale and I grabbed it, but I love those for like a nice summer um, date night. It's so easy and soft and silky and kind of romantic. All right. We have another, I was all into the flannel and faux fur. You guys, this is another fur faux fur Faux faux? Faux fur jacket. It's a size large. And this one I think was in the junior section and it was $20. And I love this one because it's cropped. It's got the hood. And I really, really love it. Like I love, I love a hood and I love a nice furry moment. So this is super cute. This is super cute. I really like this one. Um, it's supposed to snow here tomorrow in Texas, in West Texas where I am. It was 64 degrees yesterday and then it's supposed to snow tomorrow. So that might have to be busted out. Lastly, we have two pairs of shoes. So I got these heels right here. Actually, I always like to show you guys what I might possibly pair. So it's a little bit deeper of a red, but like if I wanted to pair that and then like a little black crop top, that would be cool. Definitely, you could even pop these with this dress as well. So these are BCBG and they were $29.99 and it doesn't have the original price, but my guess, Typically, their shoes not on sale run just a little over $100, $120. So I love that hardware detail and this like gold trim right here as well. Super cute. And lastly, you guys, we have these combat boots. And it's almost, almost going to be not boot season anymore, but these are really cool. I love these. I never thought in a million years I'd be a combat boot person. Say two years and earlier, I just was like, why do girls wear those? I love heels. I love, you know, I kind of like them now. Okay. I do like you pair this with that black fuzzy hoodie and like, so just a cute little top in pants and it already just, just is a vibe. It looks cool. So Anyway, these were $26.99 and I'm so glad that I found these because I had bought a pair from Shein before and they were really cute, but I got the sizing with the European sizing wrong and they were massive and I'm a seven and a half and I think I ordered a nine and a half. So I was really excited that they had these in my size. So that's it, you guys. That is it for this haul. I hope you guys like this. I hope y'all understand where I'm going with, with all my, like I'm on a no buy, but yet I've got more hauls to even show you after today. I still have a TJ Maxx one and a Ross one. And then that's really it as far as anything that I've bought that I haven't showed you guys 
yet. So yeah, I'm a work in progress, you guys. I am. I'm recovering. I'm recovering. Anyway, you guys let me know which one you like the most. As always, have fun shopping, budget shopping. Bye.